Hey guys, you know who it is. I've got quite a few big updates for you that I'd like to get some feedback on, but before I get started, I'd like to officially announce that my Artaka entry won the TTV canonization contest. Thank you all so much for the massive amount of support. I seriously couldn't have done it without you guys. Just an FYI, the artwork portion of the contest has already begun, so if you'd like to participate, the link is in the description. Now on to the updates. A week or so ago, you may have caught one of my livestreams where I was reconstructing my mocks using the virtual building program Studio. Studio is a really powerful tool, and I plan on using it for several different purposes in the future, especially if custom Bionicle parts packs keep getting made for it. My main reason for reconstructing my mocks is that I'm hoping to eventually have a complete digital library of them that I can model and rig for CG animations which would replace the need to use my actual mocks in stop motion animations. I'm somewhat experienced in Blender, and with a little bit of self-teaching, I'm hoping to get to the point where I can make semi-regular animations with my characters for future videos. This could range from short skit-like content to more story-related content, such as Night of Nights. Another thing Studio offers is a built-in LEGO-style instructions creator. I've messed around with this a fair bit, and I'm quite satisfied with the results, such as with this full set of instructions for Artaka, which you can download for free using the links in the description. I'm planning to eventually create instructions for every mock I have, but creating instructions for 40 plus mocks will be a huge amount of work. That being said, they're a lot easier to pick up and work on than, say, how to build videos, and they have the option to be edited in the future should I change anything about a mock. Now, you may know where I'm going with this. Lately, the newer how to build videos I've been making for my channel have been doing increasingly worse on YouTube, especially compared to new mock slideshows and mock spotlight videos. And the vast majority of my old ones are outdated or have such poor lighting that they're hard to follow. So I'm making a decision that some of you might not like. I'm putting the how to build series on hiatus while I work on creating these studio models and instructions. That doesn't mean I won't continue making more of them in the future, just that they're going to be fewer and farther in between. I'll at least get the how to build for Malice done though, since I played that rather cruel prank on you guys that one April Fool's Day. Now, how will you guys be able to get your hands on these instructions I'll be making? Well, a lot of Makas tend to go the route of selling their instructions individually. But rather than doing that, I've opened up a Patreon that'll allow you to access all of my finished instructions for as low as a dollar a month. This is to mostly offset the massive time investment this will be, so I hope you understand. Naturally, there's other perks for patrons, as you can see here. You'll also get the benefactor role on my Discord server. I'm curious to know what other ideas you guys might have for Patreon perks, so let me know your thoughts in the comments. The link for my new Patreon page is in the description. There's more big news to share though. In fact, I've got something really big in the works. I'm currently working on building my very own website. It's still in the early phases of development, but the planned features of this website are as follows. A dedicated hosting place for Nine of Nights, Noxus's story in its entirety a full mock slash character guide that functions as a sort of wiki, with an image gallery, links for videos, part lists, and links to the instructions for each mock, and obviously a news feed slash blog with the current projects I'm working on, and more. I definitely need some suggestions on what else I could put on the website, so please give me some feedback. This should also integrate well with conventions I attend like Brickfair, as I could potentially have QR codes on display next to my mocks leading to their entries on my site. Naturally, this will require me to take updated pictures of my mocks, which leads me to my next topic. Order of Matanui Files is now an almost six-year-old series, and I've noticed that a lot of older videos are pretty boring in comparison to the newer ones. Since I'll be needing to retake some mock photos, would you guys like to see refreshed videos of some older mocks that have changed significantly in the last few years? Please let me know. Another thing that is somewhat new is my merch. I've promoted it on the channel before, so I won't mention it much more after this. I've opened up a Redbubble store, just in case you want to show your support for WCP. Lately, I've started a series of designs featuring Night of Nights characters in pairs, and I have more of these coming soon, so keep an eye out for those. Another merchy thing I've been considering is offering physical copies of Night of Nights once Book 1 is finished. Now, these will be a lot more difficult to sell. Since Bionicle is not my IP, I have no way of publishing these books, so in order to sell them I'd have to custom order copies of the book for myself, then sell them on Etsy, which would be expensive for me to order and ship out, and a lot of work. Obviously, I try not to charge you guys much more than it'd cost me to make them, so I'm curious to know the interest for this. Would you want to purchase a physical copy of Nine of Nights Book 1 in the future? Speaking of Nine of Nights, I have an update on the casting call that I opened nine months ago. It's still going on, but the following open parts are now taken. Tobduck, Raxus, Kenpaku, Helrix, Yukare, and Gameth. The following roles are still open, and I've opened up a few new roles. In order of demand, we have...
Just as before, I'm much more in need of voice actresses than voice actors, so if you know anyone, please spread the word. If you'd like to audition, send a file or clip of what you can do to the Conks Audition channel in my Discord, and I'll consider you for a character. Sample lines for each character are pinned in that channel and are also in the description below. One thing to note, you may not get the character you audition for, but sending me your auditions will give me an idea of what you're capable of, so I can possibly consider you for another role, either permanent or temporary. So if you're interested in being a part of Nine of Nights, please audition. Speaking of the Discord, did you know that we have monthly Discord-exclusive mock contests now? We just wrapped up our first one for the month of September. The prizes for these contests will typically be your own victory server role and emoji, which will last for an entire month. I'll also give the winning mock a shoutout on my Instagram. So join our Discord if you'd like to participate in these contests. Info and rules are pinned in the contest submissions channel. Finally, I just want to say that I've been streaming more and more regularly on my second channel, so if you've enjoyed my main channel streams, there's even more fun to be had over there. Usually we post a vote for what I stream on the Discord, so there's yet another reason to join if you haven't already. That's it for the updates. Just to recap, I'd like your feedback on the following things. What other ideas should I consider for Patreon perks? What else do you think should be hosted on the WCB website besides just Night of Nights and the character wiki? Would you like to see remakes of old Order Matanui files? Would you consider getting a physical copy of Night of Nights Book 1 if they were for sale? Please leave your thoughts about these updates in the comments below, or in the suggestion box channel on the Discord, and I'll be sure to read everything and respond to as much as I can. Thank you all for your dedication, and thanks for watching!